there was a purpose to this trip. Basically, I need to go and uh, hop into the uh, garage where I need to get an MOT done. But I recently bought a, uh, a number plate from 4dot.com. So it's kind of shaped like uh, an American like Highway 66 sign, the outline, if you know what I mean. Let's see uh, what the wind has a, effect the wind has on this microphone. This is the purple panda. I strapped it to the uh, interphone mic arm. Just to see uh, if I can actually use See if it actually can use this mic on the open like this. And double check it's there. Yep, yeah, fluffy mic is there, but I think from the look of it, it's getting quite buffeted by the wind. So we shall see. We're doing about 45 now. I'm just wondering what it's uh, even at 45 miles an hour, even with the mic being so close to my mouth, and it's actually going to pick up anything other than wind or a vague, distant voice. So yeah, trying this new helmet on, first time on a ride with it, it fits nice and snug. I always like to have the option of an open face helmet when you're on a cruiser, because you're not really uh, rattling around country lanes and at high speeds and miss everything so with open face helmets you can take in a bit more of the scenery breathe the air a bit not as cocooned as with a full face I think definitely spring has sprung. So we are thoroughly in it now and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm definitely one of those people who suffer from, uh, what is it, sad? Whatever that stands for. Because come autumn, I know what's ahead. And I tend to get an early cloud over my head as soon as the early signs of spring I start to perk up for years and years I used to always go away for Christmas and get a bit of sunshine somewhere for a couple of weeks really haven't done that since Covid That's what I need. Back to that regular two weeks around Christmas time. Somewhere sunny. Get a good blast of sunshine. Be careful of the cyclists, walkers, horses, and 
going around fences like that. Talk about horses. So yeah, it was good to be cautious in this particular area. Make your mind up. Oh, a decisive pheasant for a change. actually came down a bit more but no I think that's it I've got all sorts of junk bouncing about on the panniers really got to get some bags for in there Stop me sounding like a bag of nails every time I go over a little bump like that. Another magnetic uh, GoPro mount in there, just bouncing about. I think on the screwdriver as well. I don't like these uh, little arrows. I much prefer the itty bitty country lanes. I think I'll turn off soon. There's a ride coming up. Take me back into the uh, country lanes. Nobody behind. There we go. better. I much prefer these roads. One little issue I have is a uh, new gloves are very slippery I'm holding on to the, uh, the leather throttle grip you have to grip it really hard end up you're getting a palm ache from gripping it so much I read somewhere somebody put the uh, little spray the uh, goalies use on their gloves that you can buy for goalie gloves might do the trick Make it that a little bit more sticky. I think I saw a YouTube uh, biker put it on his motorcycle seat as well. A Triumph, I think. It was a sort of straight seat. I think with his leather trousers on, he kept on sliding back. And he sort of sprayed this uh, goalie glove glue onto the seat. And it stopped sliding. So I'm going to have to get some of that. I don't know if it's... Uh, could be really like uh, 
or Evo stick sort of really uh, glue sniffers joy. Or is it going to be nice and uh, you know subtle? It's just enough sticky, but not visible. That touch anything and it's claggy. So I might have tried it on the inconspicuous area of the glove first and see how it uh, how it behaves. But yeah, at the moment I'm having to really grip the throttle because it keeps sliding back. There's a purpose to this trip. Basically, I need to go and uh, hop into the uh, garage where I need to get an MOT done. But I recently bought a uh, a number plate from 4dot.com. So it's kind of shaped like uh, an American like Highway 66 sign, the outline, if you get what I mean. The old, the yellow part. Now they say it is legal, and they've given me a little card to to present to any garage who questions it to say no, it is legal. Of course, it does conform to the, all the distancing between the uh, lettering and the edging. And... But you never know. They might just become just arsy a bit and say no, it's not rectangular or square, or whatever it is. We're not passing it. So I thought, well, before I take it to the MRT and it fails on that, I'll do a little uh, little ride out and, uh, and go and ask them. I did email them the question, but uh, you don't know what these garages, whether they actually do ever look at their emails or not. So of course, if the sun's out, spare the moments. I will hop out and go and ask them. And try out the new helmet. And try the uh, purple panda on this long lead deer. Now, obviously, I don't intend to keep it on a long lead deer all the way from the GoPro. Yeah, a bit dangerous, I should imagine. But it's got a little uh, extension on there, so it will detach. A TRS-3 to a TRS-2 extension for the GoPro. But the idea is to actually get a a mount for the GoPro for this helmet, for this open face helmet. I haven't really looked into it much, but what I'm trying to avoid is having a a Heath Robinson type of contraption with multiple connectors, if you get what I mean, you know? Having the uh, Extended one and another one and another one and another one just to bring the GoPro around sort of to the front ish, front left. What I'm looking for is maybe ideally a one piece bracket all the way to the front. But until then, I thought I'll uh, just try the mic out just to see. Uh, what it's like, you know, 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. We can see how it behaves. Heading into uh, Andover, in the garages, and uh, ask them the details. I've also got the intercom fitted on this, so on the way back, I'll try uh, 
listening to some Spotify and just see what the uh, other placement of the uh, headphones are. They're slightly front of the ear. That's the only place it could really go comfortably. So I'm hoping if I can hear the uh, music okay, then the uh, intercom audio should be okay. I will be testing that later with the missus, but that will be indoors. So it's not the same really. We'll have to come out on another little test before uh, next weekend, which is the uh, gentleman's ride. Which is one of the, which is the main reason I bought these helmets for. Just to look the look, raise money for a good cause. That's a pothole and a half. A little chat for that on the way back. Unless I go a different way. Yeah, I might go a different way back. Still, that's one heck of a pothole. It's like two foot long and almost ah, ten inches deep, something like that. Surprise, it's still there. Uh, it's still there. Okay, well, the music's coming through quite nicely, actually. Volume up and down. Where is it? There it is. Really well, really good. Well, I can hear music. First time ever listening to music while playing riding the bike. Very low music. I don't want to hide what's going on around me. Anyway, I've been to the garage. A couple of them actually. One says it depends on the uh, MOT tester guy whether he'll pass it or not. And I went to the place where I actually booked it. And the guy looked at it and said, Yeah, as long as it's uh, right size letters, spacing is correct, spacing around the letters is correct, the shape of the uh, number of plates is uh, irrelevant. Probably the only concern that there's 13, milli 13 millimeters around the, the letters. And this is my number plate as well. Has that nice little border around it and then it's shaped. So I think it's going to pass this MOT really nicely. I was worried whether that was ripped off, but it, four dots, look at their website, just don't look like that kind of organization. Which is why I sort of worried with them. Uh, this is their bread and butter, effectively. So, yeah, let's think to music. Well, mind you, the wind. <laughs> really making it uh, difficult to listen to. I'll tell you what, this helmet is certainly starting to hurt my forehead. Right across the front here. Really hurting. I don't know whether it's just 
heading in or whether I need to uh, go and get it sorted. Go for slightly bigger. My understanding is all one shell, it's just the inside they change. The padding for this particular helmet, so. here on end should look, look familiar for those who have watched my other videos. We are back into uh, Ambrosia HQ territory. There's a little downhill here, the valley to the left. Hope you enjoyed that. I would say this is my like my very first um, I'll say successful but sunshiny one. Most sunny one I've been on the ride out to see it so far. Hopefully many 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 more. So please if you like it, if you like the video, subscribe, click on that like and Tickle that bell so you get alerted when I do my next posting. And just uh, enjoy this countryside in spring and summer. And I'll hope to see you on the next video. So look after yourselves, safe journeys. If you're a biker, be safe. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>